Hi, Hi folks, we're doing oh, yeah. science. We just met up with the scientist that we're going to be working with and I just feel really excited that he understands where we're at. I looked at the way they were teaching science and I thought it, it could be better. And I, what I really want to do is inspire kids to do science. That's, that's the main thing I want to do. It's about, being li about listening to the children, figuring out and re really understanding what gets them going and what interests them. Um, so it's not curriculum driven. Yes, we've got to cover a national curriculum, but at the end of the day, you know, we're primary teachers because we love to see the excitement in our children's eyes. In the first experiment we did, I liked where we had to kind of time ourselves to how long it took to make a different colour of liquid with, with um, the different chemicals we used. I'd like to see if I could may maybe uh, get a quicker time. If we could do it a bit longer and carry on with it instead of doing the one session. I think it's been really useful for students to be seeing the scientists in action and being able to model their work. And people with knowledge as well and experience so the children can see that this is a possible career, a possible job opportunity for them that they can go and investigate and find and express and rather than just wanting to be a footballer or a singer we really want to expand their view of career prospects. I think when I was younger when we were in primary school we don't get practical science in year four and five. It all comes down to uh, to the future, I think, these days, the goals really is to, uh, to get people interested in science and that the scientists everywhere and I think that's it's part of it's getting the message across. And the children's enthusiasm is just amazing. They can ask endless amounts of questions and most of them are really good. I just find it very inspiring. Um, I think it, it would give you um, good relationships with the children in an, an, an enjoyment of passing on these practical activities. One of the great things to come out of it as well has just been how the teachers have moved from maybe being a little unsure um, because they didn't necessarily have a great in-depth scientific background to really embracing the project and wanting to learn that more and being really excited about teaching science. And for me the standout has just been how, how inquisitive and how inspirational the children have been as well. Um, discovered from this as a whole school is that there's an increased confidence in the teaching of science throughout the school and the increased enthusiasm in the children in the science lessons which are now much more practical and allow the children to be scientists. You know I think there's one of the schools here where initially the head teacher I think would be honest and say do you know what science doesn't really float my boat but I can see the potential of what you know what it will bring to the children and I think that's really evident in what we've seen in some of the videos that once you get that momentum going you know the children carry it along really and actually I suppose that answers my other question it won't disappear because the children will carry it forward I think that's perhaps what will happen we had about a half hour afterwards of open question and answers and we ended up having to stop so that the children could go home because there were so many questions and my, my two favourite questions were probably what's the hard evidence for the Big Bang? Quite difficult trying to explain cosmic microwave background radiation to a group of 5 to 11 year olds and also one student who came up to me very, very quietly at the end and just said, excuse me Dr Sam and I said yes and he said, why is it? If humans are evolved from monkeys, there's still monkeys on Earth. But it was really great to see that the students were thinking about all these questions and every time I go in they've just got so many different questions and the, the joy of them learning about science and doing science is really prevalent and is really the most enjoyable thing for me to get out of this entire scientific weaving process which has been a joy from start to finish. <laughs>